Hi guys, so to the good information about how to take it, is it recall or not? Uh, yes, is it recall? Hello guys, welcome to Guard Indonesia. So today, I'm gonna show you my experience with showing you 4K Plus. I'm gonna help you. It's gonna, it's really pinch my mouth. It's really hot inside, so it's like mumbling mumbling like this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna tell you my experience with Xiaomi 4K. So, what's my experience as a vlogger using this as my main camera? My primary camera is. It's good, it's good. For uh, the action cam, that price is lower than GoPro 4, Super Editions, or like many things that, you know, it's not like a Brica. That's. It's a little bit expensive, but. Um, Yes, I can show you user the problem with the microphone. Xiaomi never support the external microphone like a GoPro does, a Brick does, or Drift Ghost does, or Drift Edition with supporting our external microphone as audio external support or resources. Like, yeah, it is can record, better record, and you know. If you are not a vlogger and you have a mounting, normal mounting that record like this, the will be okay. If you are recording in uh, yeah in indoor, not the outdoor stuff. So in the outdoor, I not recommend it you to use Xiaomi 4K to become your primary camera. Like my friend said from Motorola Alliance. It said that Xiaomi is good for second cam, but not um, up with better options for first cam camera. They said that that I might be case GoPro 4 as the primary camera and uh, Xiaomi 4K as second cam. They said that uh, yes, as my experience also, that Xiaomi 4K have a trouble with the audio. Yes, but. Uh, for today, they launched Xiaomi 4K Plus, which is support external microphone, but, but, there are a little bit this downside here. Here they have put new features like external microphone, they also put the voice command, but otherwise, other things like the lens is same, the main box same, everything is same, and that's a little bit downside at uh, the um, internal microphone that using stereo you can find inside that in YouTube a different with 4K plus and 4K second so gems is that from 4K to 4K plus is a little bit down downside because in 4K plus they use a stereo microphone while in this 4K they use 360 microphone only only microphone yes uh, yes. Only microphone, the 60 only microphone that you can record surrounding, not only stereo but surrounding. This is good. This is for um, um, action cam stats using 360 only microphone that record your surrounding is better than stereo. But that's uh, other things that really trouble that show me. I don't think that's only troubling with show only show me but I yes I think that's only show me half that problem that if I record right now if I record it now I will show you and I'm going silent now that's on yeah that, that's X seconds I'm gonna boost the audio, the audio input. You will hear like some voice like clicking, but it's come from the inside the board. Just like working too hard, just like it's like a morse inside the cams. It sounds really annoying when you going editing in the vlog because. When you're talking, that's also he. You can hear that. Why, if you really pay attention with the audio, we will be here when I'm speaking like this, and I'm speaking like this. You're gonna hear 
something clicking like that if you watch my uh, video that I'm reading that um, audio from raw action times you you will be here that click sound I see that Xiaomi 4k plus is not this only different with the downside of the microphone and the features the features like voice command and um, external microphone and that's um, a little bit better quality in the 4k but as the um, youtubers and in uh, Indonesia 4k quality in YouTube it's not really be uh, too much all for God all for kill God like I don't know what to tell that but that's too much like this condition in my country in Indonesia that 4k is too much 180 at 6 FPS is more than enough that was a really good video with that quality but 4k is not good maybe it's good for me you come from western that have better networks we the most advanced or the most fastest network we have now is 4g and yes it can contain uh, it can support 4k but not all of us can access that networks because you know the trust and I'm gonna tell that about that right here. So that cuts 4K in 30 FPS, but in 4K plus you can catch at 50 FPS, 60 FPS, and 30 FPS because that's upgrade of quality that's gonna be more work at the main board, which means that will be more clicking sound. Maybe I don't have the, the items, I don't have the 4K plus, but that's my analysis. Maybe you who have a 4K plus thing that might be happens or that happens to you. I suggest you if you want to be new motor vlogger or just a vlogger using action cams, not using a uh, digital camera, you gotta choose this. This as your primary camera, but you choose this as second camera. And number two, I'm gonna tell you everything bad about this. Action cams and as a motor vloggers, when I cannot record my audio in my phone, but the prob the problem is I'm motor vlogger that afraid my action cams gonna be damaged if I was a crash. So I put myself in waterproof case. But in waterproof case, this any that's all the other problems. The heat and I should show me that I use. That's really annoying because. That's really hard. When I'm buying buying new, this is my oldest one. It's when I'm buying with I think I got this. It's really fine. The car is destroyed, it's broken. So I'm buying a new one. In the first hour two days I'm using this action cams. I mean waterproof case. That's still the action cams very well. It's really sealed the the air inside every time I'm done recording in the first of two days of using this this waterproof case is really hot I don't gonna lie it's really hot and the effects of the other of the hot is gonna be the circle of this lens gonna be and there will be fog that's another problems that I pick correct and right choice of the action cams waterproof because if you're not you you are buying a correct waterproof case that have a room in the side of the action cams that's gonna be hard to you to put the waterproof uh, anti fog the anti fog is important for you that using waterproof not only for your underwater actions but also in you think that you need the waterproof case for anti shock like this one I'm using the uh, waterproof case and here's in and her action cams that's I'm gonna show you show you this is only first gen that's not have a room this is also thing as well they don't have a room me and Claudia put the anti fog in the back but there's a problem still fog 
but not really bad as you not put it on. So I suggest you, I'm not gonna be endorsed Xiaomi. I'm not gonna be telling good of Xiaomi. You can search that many videos that tell it the good side of the Xiaomi that can be GoPro 4. Yes, GoPro 4 is expensive. Xiaomi, it can give you a same result, even 4K. Yes, they don't. Touch screen, and for myself, the was in the black thing. Yes, I love black. So guys, yeah, it sucks. My answer comes down. I forgot to recharge. So guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Check my uh, video below. Don't forget to like my all my video if you like the video. Please share the video if you think that she is showing you review true and honest review. It's good for you. And don't forget to subscribe and see you later. Muito obrigado, guys. Muito obrigado.